Hey guys, Sam here. Welcome to our knockout stages for the FIFA 16 Euro Under 21 YouTuber Tournament. Now we're up to the final eight now. The group stages have been wrapped up. And before we get into the draw and picking who's playing who, in the knockout stages. I want to reflect a little bit on the group stages. Maybe some of you didn't watch all the games and I just want to sum up how the group stages went, who placed where and stuff like that. I've got some fun facts as well from the group stages so hopefully you guys enjoy that as well. So the draw will be happening a little bit later in the video. For now I want to do a bit of a reflection on the groups. Starting with group A, Chalupa Wana topped the group on goal difference um, with seven points and Jay Akers pick one England as you'd expect came second on goal difference with seven points as well. Uh, b Monus got a win with Northern Ireland, which is pretty freaking fantastic. Kind of disappointing what happened with Curtis. He just couldn't play the games. He didn't communicate, um, and he had to forfeit two of his games. He did play one of his games, and that was against b Monus, who beat him 3-0. So, yeah, it was a bit of a weird one with Group A, um, with a miscommunication and stuff like that, which kind of sucks. Nevertheless, Jay Akers and Chalupuana qualify. b Monus made three points. I, I couldn't believe... I could not get three points with the Northern Island team, so credit to him, but the two that go through are Chalupawana and Jay Yakas. In Group B, it was a really, really close group this one. Rich Lee ended up topping the group on goal difference, picking up five points with France. T-Ray All Day also picked up five points with Sweden. He was just shy a couple of goals, and he would have qualified first in the group, which is pretty amazing. Pepsi, FIFA, and Russia ended up coming third, and they had some really fantastic games. Russia was one of the most entertaining teams to watch throughout the entire tournament. He picked up three points with them as well, which is pretty decent. That's pick 15 we're talking about. So pick 15 and 16 both got a win. And then JCC in Italy picked up two points, not picking up a win. The only person other than Curtis to not pick up a win was JCC. Group C ended in fine fashion with like Game in HD coming first with Austria and a plus seven goal difference as you can see with six points that was enough to qualify in this group along with SCG who just missed out on goal difference well not just it was <laughs> by six goals but still uh, missed out on goal difference with six points as well. Jared HD ended up in third place um, with three points. And it's Matthew picking up a win on the final day against Portugal. Got three points as well with a Wales team. So uh, pretty tight group there in Group C as well. And then Group D, my personal opinion, the group of death. Uh, and you might think that's me being biased, but it, it really was the grip of death, man. Everybody was on three points going into the last day, so a huge, huge result for both Flickify and ourselves. Germany and Spain qualifying. Germany with a much better goal difference, um, and they qualified first with ourselves coming second. It was Flying Orangutan who got third spot uh, due to goal difference, and before Lance and Ireland, who I think performed really, really well, to be honest with you. For an Ireland team, I think they really did push hard. Uh, he did end up getting three points, which is good as well. So credit to uh, Nirangatang and B4 Lancer. They had two pretty poor teams, and both of them were able to pick up three points, which is really, really impressive. Now, I want to thank the guys that did not qualify uh, for their... Just really, really just great communication from seven out of the eight guys that didn't qualify. Like, it just makes my life a lot easier when they were organizing games themselves and getting things done. Uh, very professional from, as I said, seven of those eight guys that didn't qualify. Really, really professional. I want to thank every one of them for participating in this uh, and for being so understanding and for being uh, so cooperative. I do want to thank everybody it's in the tournament, but especially these seven guys that you're not going to see out of the eight that didn't qualify for just being really, really good guys um, and just being really cooperative. So thank you very much. But we have to forget about you now and we have to move on to the knockout stages but before we do I have some fun facts to wrap up the group stage. What these fun facts are designed to do is to pretty much let you know who you should be watching out for in the knockout stages if you didn't watch all the games who's been performing the best who's been performing the worst out of the final eight so without further ado let's get into these fun facts. Chalupawana Switzerland and Jayakas England were the two teams that qualified with the most points with seven. Flickify and Germany had the most goals scored in the group stages with 11 goals in three games, five of them coming against me. <laughs> the teams that conceded the least goals throughout the group stages include Jay Akers, England and Chalupawana's Switzerland, but both of them did have games that were forfeited, so they didn't really play all three games. So I do want to give a shout out to the teams that conceded just two goals and played all three games, including T-Ray All Day Sweden, like Game in HD's Austria and SCG's Portugal. Well done to those defenses. However, the team that qualified with the highest goal difference is Flickify with a plus eight 
goal difference. And a shout out to iGamingHD who got a plus seven goal difference with Austria. That is insane. The teams that qualified with the lowest point total are Rich Lee's France and T Ray All Day's Sweden with five points. T Ray All Day and SCG qualified with the least goal scored. That is three goals. The team that qualified with the most goals conceded would be ourselves with six. Qualified with the lowest goal difference is ourselves with negative one and we were the only team to qualify with a negative goal difference. The teams that qualified undefeated include Jay Yakas England, Chalupuana Switzerland, Rich Lee's France, and T Ray All Days Sweden. The highest scoring game of the group stages was a Group B matchup between Rich Lee and Pepsi FIFA. It ended up 5 3 and probably the game of the group stages, in all honesty. That was a crazy one. The lowest scoring game also included Rich Lee against T Ray All Day Sweden, nil nil. How you go from being in a nil nil match to an eight goal match within the span of three games, I have no idea. And the highest scoring groups in order was Group D with 20 goals, then Group C with 19, Group B with 15, and Group A with 14. Now keep in mind, Group A had six forfeited goals, so if you want to take those away, they scored eight goals in the group stages. So Group A was definitely a cagey one when they played. Last but not least, the lowest pick to qualify was pick 11, I game in HD and Austria. And I do want to give a shout out to pick 15 and 16, Pepsi FIFA's Russia and B Monus's Northern Ireland, who both nearly qualified on the final day, um, which was pretty incredible. Both those teams were in it. All right, lads, without further ado, we're going to get into the drawing of the knockout stages. The first knockout match, it's random. It's There's two hats, one hat with the runners-up, one hat with the winners. You can draw anybody other than the people in your group. So for myself, as an example, I came second in Group D, which means the people that we could be facing are iGaming HD, Rich Lee, and... Chalupa Wana. Those are the three people we could be taking on. All fantastic players, all good teams, so um, not doing ourselves a service at all. We can't draw Flickify, however. It's just people in your group. So if I pick someone from the same group, I'm just going to chuck them back in. I'm going to start with a runner-up from the orange hat. The orange hat, one runner-up. This could be anybody that came second in a group. It's going to be SCG's Group C runner-up. SCG, who will he be facing? from the winner's hat, the LA Kings hat. Not that I support them, but I have one. And he will be facing Flickify, a huge match. The runner-up of Group C taking on the winner of Group D, Portugal versus Germany. Probably gonna be the biggest match of the entire knockout stages, but that is a massive match. SCG versus Flickify, that is huge. The runner-up is T-Ray all day. Group B's runner-up. Who is he going to face? Let's go to the winner's hat. He will be taking on Chalupa Wana, the winner of Group A. And all four groups now have been represented. The runner-up of C is taking on the winner of D, and the runner-up of B is taking on the winner of A. Chalupa Wana and T-Ray all day. Switzerland and Sweden, two of the lesser teams, but two fantastic players. So that is going to be a hell of a game. I think that's going to be like the underdog game of the first knockout stages. That will be an entertaining one. Guardi FIFA of Group D. It's a little bit ripped there, but runner-up of Group D ourselves. Um, that's going to be a big one. Who could I potentially face here? Chalupa Wana is gone, um, but there's still potential here. We're going to take either Rich Lee or I game in HD. It's going to be one of those. France or is it going to be Austria? It is I game in HD Austria, the winner of Group C. Um, arguably one of the better FIFA players in the tournament, but also arguably the worst team in the final eight. So... The winner of Group C is going to be taking the runner-up of Group D, iGame in HD versus Guardi FIFA. The last time I played <laughs> iGame in HD in a YouTuber tournament, it didn't go well for us at all. Um, he absolutely battered us, so I feel like this time we have a better team than him, so I have a chance, but he's a really good player, um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. I am kind of nervous for that, but at the same time, didn't matter who we drew, it was going to be a nervy one. And last but not least, the runner-up of Group A, Jay Yakas, will take on the winner of Group B, Rich Lee. So the A's are playing the B's and the C's are playing the D's, so it worked out kind of 
like how it would in a structured playoff. That that game is huge. If you're taking a look at picks, that's pick one versus pick two. That's going to be the biggest game. Um, but you also have pick three playing pick five in SCG versus Flickify. You have pick nine playing pick 10 in T-Ray All Day versus Chalupawana. And you have pick four versus pick 11, Guardi FIFA versus iGame in HD. So we probably got the best potential team via the picks. But again, Tim iGame in HD is a fantastic player. So I'm not really looking forward to playing him again. Because if you don't know what happened last time, I don't even want to get into it. But we got spanked. So that's all you need to know. So those are your matchups, guys. There it is. The bracket for the final eight huge, huge games that will be played. And I can't wait to get into it, boys. Who do you see making the final four? It'll be another random draw after that to see who will be in the semifinals. So there's still another draw video to go. If you did enjoy this, leave a like on the video. There'll be another one for the semifinals. And that'll be the last one because then the final will just be the two winners of the semifinals. So... Um, oh man, this is huge. Who do you think is going to get out of this, boys? It is really, really close games. You've got pick one versus pick two, pick three versus pick five. Those are really tight games, boys. So if you can't wait for the knockout stages, leave a like on the video. I hope you did enjoy today's video, guys. I'll see you soon for the semifinal draw. Hopefully we're part of the semifinals, but it's no guarantees. So without further ado, I'm going to wrap up the video, guys. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Keep it real. I hope Tim doesn't fucking batter me again.